Hey everyone, it's John at Simmering Sing Revolution. How you doing today? So for today's episode, we are going to test this new rim that I have on the Xbox. So we haven't done that yet. We haven't tested this rim. I actually got this, uh, the podium, the universal, not the podium, but the universal hub for Xbox uh, specifically so I could play on Xbox. Um, although it does work on PC and on PS4 and PS5 and everything else, I really wanted a rim that's supported on Xbox so we could try out and I could play some Xbox games with it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see how well it works. Uh, this is the Podium Wheelbase F1, so this is designed uh, with the chip in it to work on PS4 and PS5. But of course, it's compatible with Xbox and with PC as well. So that's why I wanted to kind of test this out and just see how it does in reality with the Xbox. And we're going to use the Xbox Series X today. We'll see how it goes. We'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. So... Uh, currently, the whole wheel is turned off. The Xbox, yeah, is currently turned off. So what I'm going to do is turn everything on. Just turn this on and see if I can turn on the Xbox and actually have it output stuff. So uh, normally what you would have to do is turn off um, a setting on the Xbox uh, for HDCP. So when I do uh, try to capture the video, it'll work. So I have tested this and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, so no guarantees. If this doesn't work, I'll have to get up and do some finagling. So let me switch over to the other camera so you can see what's gonna happen here when I turn this thing on. So here we go. I turn on the wheelbase and we'll see if it automatically turns on the Xbox and gives us a picture. I'm not too confident. Oh, the Xbox turned on. And there we go, it did work. Hey, wonders never cease, right? So uh, very happy about that, so that did work. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and test out a few games. We're gonna test out two games, Forza Horizon 5 and F1 2020. So first let's jump into Forza Horizon 5 and I'm gonna explain to you what the issues are with this game. Because <laughs> there's issues on the Xbox that we don't have on the PS5. Now, the biggest one that I'm going to get out of the way first is I have not found a game yet, um, and I've tried Forza Horizon 5, F1 2020, as you can see, I've tried Dirt Rally 2.0, and none of them I could get um, anything to display on the uh, wheel itself. So no shift lights, no or rev lights or anything, no uh, speed indication, no... Uh, shifting, nothing comes up on the displays at all. So um, it's basically like it's not giving me anything. So I don't know if that's a setting or something. So if anybody knows, just leave a comment down below. But let's start off with that said. Let's start off with Forza Horizon, Horizon 5 and see what happens with this game. Um, and I'm going to tell you there are... There's a big issue for me in this game, but we got to remember it's an arcade game first and foremost, and uh, with that said, there's just things that I guess we can't expect are going to work. So let's go right into the game first, and uh, I'll show you what, what you can do. And let, me, and let me just say, it's not bad. I mean, for an arcade game, this game is fun to begin with, um, but it's just kind of... Uh, it's arcade, so if you're into sim racing, then this is probably going to turn you off. It's a good thing to do when you're not wanting this, you know, to sim race and be too serious about your racing, and you just want to get in and have some fun and race around and, and have a good time. Uh, this is a great game for that. And graphics are pretty impressive as well. All right, so we're just going to drive that Bronco because it's easier to kind of show you guys what's going on with a Welcome slower back, vehicle. Johnny. All right, so here we are. Um, let's get going. You can see that the, the throttle works, the steering works. I do have force feedback here. As you can see here, if I just kind of move it, it's, you know, it's doing its thing. 
So let's, uh, now I do have it on automatic transmission too, so. I have Christmas stuff out, that's awesome. So you can see the candy canes. It's all over the place, actually Christmas trees. Very nifty. All right, so this is working out good, right? Uh, oh, there's a storm coming, nice. All right, so everything seems to work okay like this, but we wanna be able to, oh, let me stop. But we wanna be able to shift ourselves, right? So let's give that a shot. So let's go into the settings over here and under settings, it is under difficulty. So we need to set to manual transmission. So let's go out and try this and see what happens now. So right back into the game. So we're, we're in reverse before. So you can see me, I'm hitting the shift and it's going backwards. Okay, so what you're gonna say is, well, you didn't map it right. So let's go in there and map it. I already know what the problem is, but I just wanted to take you along for the ride uh, so I can show you exactly what is going on here. So if we go into controls, go into change mapping, and now check this out. There, RB, so this is mapped to RB and LB. So left one, right one. All right, so that's good to know. So when we go down here and say shift up, well, look at that. It's already mapped to RB and LB. So let's go ahead and just change it anyway. We'll remap it. So we're gonna hit this, boom, done. And we'll remap this one too, boom, done. All right, so we should be good to go. So let's go back, we'll save those changes, make sure our button mappings are all good. And let's try it again. Nothing. So, what the problem is, is the podium module and the universal hub for Xbox both have the same buttons, basically. Uh, the same uh, button configuration, button mapping. So on the podium uh, module here, button module or whatever we call it, there are a left and right um, buttons on there, bumpers, I guess they're supposed to be. Uh, so if we hit the green button, which is, they're both up here in the top corner. If I hit that one, there you can see it's shifting. You can see down there <laughs> on the bottom corner. You can see I'm shifting up and down, right? Actually down just goes all the way back to one, which is kind of odd. So anyway, uh, let's go forward now. Probably because we weren't moving. Yeah, so now I can go down one. So that's working great, but the, mo the but the paddle shifters are not because it, the paddle shifters are part of the Universal Hub for Xbox. So in this game, it prioritizes what buttons it wants to use for what. So apparently, anything on the podium module is the what is going to be mapped in the game. Anything on the Universal Hub for Xbox is not, but it kind of is. So if I can push a button up here, like let's just go with the A button or the B button or the X button. Yeah, so I don't think anything works on there. Let's see. If I go out here and then I try to do the B button to go back, that does work. And I can also do it here if I hit that again and hit the equivalent B button on here, it works. So the only thing that doesn't seem to work are these two paddle shifters, which is really a bummer because it should just work, right? Well, no, it doesn't. So it's a big time bummer. So the thing that we have to do just to have fun with this game is to go in and change our difficulty back to use an automatic transmission. Um, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, this is an arcade game. Um, it doesn't really make a whole bunch of difference really in the grand scheme of things, but it would just be nice if it 
if it did work. Now, there are also, like, the force feedback settings aren't too great on here, but there are some things that you can tweak. I'm not going to get into all that in this video. I just wanted to kind of give an overview of, um, you know, what games work, what you can do with it, what games don't work, things like that. So, um, so with this storm coming, let's get out of this game. Let's test another one uh, before we get rained on. So, I am going to get out of this, and I did manage to pretty much figure out what all the buttons do on here in the mapping, and and Fnatic does include in the manual the button mappings for both PlayStation, Xbox, and PC of what they're kind of mapped to out of the box, so that's really nice of them to include that. Um, so let's go jump into F1 2020 now, and uh, we'll show you how this game runs. Now just a quick, um, oh, quick resume. What are we, what is happening? Wow, okay. So, just so you know, this game, everything seems to work pretty darn well. Um, I'll go over the one small issue I have with it when we get there, but overall it's pretty good. What I'm gonna do here is we are going to actually go in and just do a, uh, a time trial run and you can see paddle shifters are working it even shows them up top so that's pretty nice oh I didn't want to do that we want to go into time trial and we'll just go to F1 2020 and we might as well pick Red Bull right all right so let's let's just do yeah, Australia. We're not even going to do probably a whole lap. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on. So we're not we're not trying to win any medals here or anything. Um, and honestly, this is not an F1 style wheel. So I do have F1 2021 on the PS5, and I'll use the the actual F1 wheel for that for that game. So this I just really wanted to demonstrate with you guys. Uh, the Xbox wheel and how it runs and how this whole setup runs on the Xbox. So that's what we're going for. Let's go to the track and we'll show you guys how this all works. So I am in control now. All right, we're in second gear. I can do DRS. That works. All the shifting works just fine. I can downshift, upshift. Everything works just the way it should. And actually, force feedback feels pretty good. It actually feels, you know, fine. I'm not shifting well here, obviously. All right, but now, see, when I turn all the way like that, it, it has the force feedback, but after a certain degree, it just dies on me. It just kind of, like, breaks off, like, okay, that's all, that's all I'm giving you. So I didn't get that far on that turn. So we'll come up to this next turn and I'll... See, like, right there, it just completely lost. It's like it, it has a threshold, and then once you hit that wall and keep going, it just kind of, you know, lets go and kind of jerks away like that, which is really odd. So... Um, I think it's a setting, though. I'm sure there's something I can fix. I probably have either um, the setup wrong on the wheel itself or in the game or a combination of both. Now, I haven't gone through anything to set this up, so I'm sure it's something that can be fixed. Um, but I really wanted to show that everything in this game just works as it should. Now, can I still shift with these other ones? Yes, I can. and I can downshift with them as well. So so they are mapped the same as what was mapped in uh, in uh, Forza Horizon 5, which we just looked at. But this game is able to use both of these controls. Um, so depending on what you want to use when you're in the game, you can just use whatever ones. Even though they're all mapped the same, you can, you can use them that way. Now, why Forza Horizon 5 doesn't allow you to do that, I have no idea. 
Um, but that's really the only game that has those kind of issues on here. So, yeah, I don't get it, but it is what it is. But, you know, I'm sure with the little nuances of the force feedback in Forza Horizon 5, and in this one I'm sure there are some settings that can be tweaked to make it a little more realistic and dial it in just a little bit better, because like I said, I hadn't done any dialing of anything in on these at all to get the results that I'm showing you. So, um, but yeah, it, it does work really good, and, and I think I'm just doing a little bit on the throttle, and it, it is working pretty well, so I'm kind of happy, and there's the, you know, that's, now I'm having to put some real force down, so yeah, braking works pretty good, throttling works pretty good on here, so very happy with that and uh, it just seems to work just fine so there we go um, I have no issue with this game really so it's, it seems to work just great I just wish I had an F1 style wheel that would work on the Xbox and I just it, I don't have one of those yet so we'll see if I ever get one <laughs> anyway um, Let's see where are we going. We're going to advance past here. Um, so that's really it. That's really what I wanted to show for the video. Um, so why don't you all stay tuned, and uh, I'll be right back to wrap all this up. Hi, everyone, and thanks for watching once again. Uh, so what we did today is we went over on the Xbox Series X. We played F1 2020. We played Forza Horizon 5 on our Fnatic DD1 F1 wheelbase with the rim that we put together with the universal hub for xbox and the podium button module so we had all that together um forza horizon 5 it works well provided that you put everything on automatic transmission and it works just fine um there are some you know some things on the xbox that just don't work on fanatic wheels wheel bases anyway and that is the shift lights the telemetry data that you would come through uh, just does not work on any of these games that I tried out for you guys today. Um, so that's kind of a disappointment, and some people say that, hey, that's an SDK issue that Fnatic has to, you know, uh, provide to developers to support the wheelbase. That's probably true. Um, it could be partly Microsoft's fault for blocking extra input and all that kind of stuff, too. So it may be on both in the cases, but in reality, um, it works pretty good, I would say. Uh, F1 2020 works works great. Now, I, would I like to see um, that kind of functionality? Yeah, I, I would, you know, as far as the shift lights and all that kind of thing. Um, but just a caveat on the PS5 um, version of F1 2021, I do get the telemetry lights. I get all that working. Uh, so the fact that it uh, that Fnatic isn't providing the correct tools to developers to be able to implement that uh, when it works on PlayStation, I don't know. Uh, that's up for debate, I guess. Because <laughs> obviously they're doing something right on the PS5 side of things. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe and like and uh, hit the bell icon so you know when future episodes are coming out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today uh, as much as I enjoyed making it for you. It's always fun to play. So <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much. Stay tuned for more episodes, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Keep some racing. This is John at Sim Racing Revolution. See you next time.